So hello and welcome to this next episode. Um, it's actually episode seven. Uh, the background is of Betty Hill Beach. You'll find that along the NC500. It's really well known for its surfing. At the end of the last video, I explained that this one would be about trimming donkey feet. Um, you'll see that particularly the one donkey, the feet are, are excessively long. And they are rescue donkeys. Uh, there's a lovely guy called Donald who's, who's rescued them. So they won't ever have to worry about having their feet go long again. Uh, he's already made the next appointment, so that's reassuring. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you at the end. We rescued these two. Rescued them. <laughs> Came from Ireland. So it's always quite upsetting to see when when the feet can grow and, and get into the state that you're about to see. They're, they're ridiculously long. Um, this one's a rescue donkey that Donald has rescued. And, and now it's gonna have to have a lot of foot trimmed way to reestablish realignment. Um, one saving grace with donkeys is that they grow a lot of soul. And because they grow a lot of soul, it helps to hold the feet together. But on the flip side of them growing a lot of sole and being strong, it, it means if they're not trimmed, they end up with really long feet. Is it farming you do, Donald? I'm, actually, I used to do full-time farming, but then paramedic and oh, right. cool. And then as a result of that, the tendons and suspensory ligaments and all those soft structures uh, under increased strain and pressure, um, you're, you're increasing the likelihood of tearing or catastrophic injuries. So it is important to keep the feet and the donkey's feet short, e even if they are generally stronger than a horse's foot. It, it doesn't mean that their tendons and ligaments are any stronger. Um, so. It, you know, it is distressing to see the feet when they get to this, how uncomfortable those donkeys must 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 feel. While the one donkey in particular, the other donkey's feet aren't too bad, but yeah, not good to see at all. Uh, my brother's barrier as well, mm -hmm. he trained me. All right, good. Um, about two years ago now. Enjoying living up here. Oh, I love it. I wish I'd moved sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you actually in Inverness? Or? Yeah, yeah, in the city. I was in Melbourne to start with mm -hmm. for three months, but it was just too remote and not enough work there. Yeah. And then I moved to a place called Canic, which is more remote but closer to where the work was coming from and, mm -hmm. and then yeah so I was there a year and then made sense to move into the city centre just to be central to everything. Yeah. So your mechanic my trade or? No no it's my um that's my mechanic's van. My van's in the in the workshop getting repaired. Oh I see. Broke down the other night. Okay. And then Tony got me in and me that. At least I can still get to work. Mm. They find me. Yeah, I'd be stuffed about. The foot's coming back well. Sorry? The foot is coming back nice. It's mm -hmm. coming back well. Yeah, they should be done probably every eight weeks. Because when they go this long, stretching their tendons and yeah. I did some donkeys not long ago when the feet were really long and it, it done all the suspensories on the back so the back feet were just right down on their fetlocks. Yeah. I've got my number now. Yeah. And I'm down 
I'll do more every six weeks. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. that's good to know. Oh, you got it. Come on. Bang up. Can you stop? Can you stop that? Don't just turn around and sit in. Am I supposed to stop? No, no, you, can, you keep going. If you're happy to keep filming. Thank you. We'll get a drastic before and after. Hold well on. Oh. a bit weird for an hour around it. Up you can. So this is a frog. I don't know if you know that or not. But that'll tell me how much foot there is to cut off by finding the true point of it. So the redness you can see there, that is bruising. The foot must have experienced some form of trauma at some point. It, it could have been any number of causes to, to cause that, but because there is a fair bit of foot there to trim away, that will trim out without an issue.
one. So I'm just cleaning all this sole out now, all this excess sole, establishing how much foot there is to come away so that I can trim it all off and get the foot back to how it's supposed to be. So you'll see I'm really having to sink my hoof nippers in and try and trim as much foot away as possible, as quickly as possible, because I'm conscious of how long the donkey has to stand on three legs, keeping in mind how long the feet have become. And you'll notice the amount of sole I'm having to trim away. Unlike a horse where you try to preserve as much sole as possible, with donkeys, because they grow so much, it's important to trim it away um, as they can get sole bound. And that could even be the cause for the bruising that we've seen earlier because the, the sole loses its elasticity and is then unable to flex essentially and becomes quite hard and that, that then can, can, can cause that bruising. trimming donkey's feet is the most satisfying. All right. I prefer it to trimming horse's feet. I find the behaviour different. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I like it so much. I do though. Very intelligent, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Donkey's mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They definitely have a character of their own. Especially this one, the dolly. Mm -hmm. 
So you'll see that I opted to trim the donkeys in the stock trailer. Uh, the reason why they were in the stock trailer is Donald had to transport them to me. As he lived so far away, we agreed prior to, to the appointment that we would meet halfway. Uh, the reason why I decided to keep them inside the stock trailer was because I know how intelligent donkeys are and what strong bonds they hold. I didn't want to cause them any net unnecessary stress by separating them. Also, I was conscious that there was a lot of foot that was going to be need, needed to be trimmed away and outside of the stock trailer was, it was quite stony ground. So just as a precautionary measure, I, I, I thought I'd keep them on a nice flat surface. Uh, not to say that they would have been feeling the stones after, but it was just, like I say, a precautionary measure. So what I mean by the foot turning over is the medial lateral balance has been slightly compromised. That is to say, one side of the hoof wall is either higher or lower than the other side. What is like? Not too bad. Or? It started to turn over a bit, the balance has been comp compromised a little bit, but... Back okay. You weren't very well behaved to start with. I find with donkeys, like if you dominate them by like leaning on top of them, mm -hmm. they normally concede. Yeah, they do it very quickly. And we know they're very powerful the ginger nuts. <laughs> So one common misconception about donkeys is that they're stubborn and it's not so much that they're stubborn, it's more they're trying to assess a situation and determine if they're in any danger. That is why quite often when you're trying to lead a donkey, it will plant its feet. Donkeys are known for standing and protecting their ground and, and protecting their position against predators. Um, that's quite often why farmers will use them and integrate them into their flocks of sheep because they will end up protecting the sheep from predators such as foxes. Donkeys are really brave animals. He kicks quite a bit. Does he? Well, anytime I'm around, I watch his back end. Oh, you kicked her? Yeah, well, I suppose maybe I'm just in the way. She's <laughs> <laughs> in the wrong place. It's no. probably that I'm just in the wrong place when I'm feeding them or whatever, you know. It's not a hard, hard kick, but it's a mm. bit. Funniest thing is seeing them kick with the front feet. They'll mm. kick out with the dog's end. I don't think kick. I've ever seen a donkey do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Anna never gave them a chance, did she? <laughs> My daughter was in charge of her all weekend. And she was on the phone all the time when she was feeding them. What do I do? Where do I go? They're coming after me. <laughs> Come on.
but on the one. I'll get you booked in before you leave the oven. Yeah, no problem. I'm not worried about it in the future. Yeah. So that's the donkeys, they've both finished being trimmed now, they just did really well to get their feet done, all things considered, such a pleasure to work on, uh, so satisfying uh, seeing the transformation and knowing they're going to be feeling a lot more comfortable because of it, and because of the work you've done. I think that's why it's such a rewarding job and why I would never want to do anything else uh, having done so many things prior to getting into farrowing this is the only job i've stuck at and the only job i've really enjoyed it all i don't even you can't even call it a job it's more of a lifestyle so this is me at the end with my two new friends after they've had their feet trimmed so that's it from me uh, i hope you've enjoyed watching this episode uh, if you did give it a like don't forget to click that subscribe button and uh, you're gonna get to see all my other videos uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you for watching and take care.